next we're going to start third part of demand management so the topics that we're going to cover today they are planned independent requirements reduction planning strategies and PIR reduction adjusting the planned independent requirements reorganizing planned independent requirements deleting planned independent requirements setting for MRP customizing of planning strategies and availability check using the ATP logic so first of all we'll talk about the make to order production that we started earlier so we have seen earlier that in a typical scenario what happens is uh, first of all we'll start with the planning where we'll be entering the planned independent requirements in MD61 and then the production production will start and from the production the sales order uh, will be goods issued so whatever sales order there they will be delivered to the customer and after the goods issue for the sales order finally the planned independent requirements that we entered here that will be reduced at this step and finally we will start all over again so that's how the cycle goes on now with regards to the planning strategies uh, and the PIR reduction uh, depending on what planning strategy you are using uh, and at what stage the reduction of PR will happen in what it means is for example we have seen in the previous uh, lectures that we got different type of planning strategy we have seen how the planning study 10 works 20 50 and all that so with all the different strategies basically for example when you talk about study study number 10 which is make to order production in this one when the goods issue will happen when the goods issue when I'm saying goods issue that means the goods issue for the sales order so when the goods issue will happen then only the PR will PIR will be reduced okay plan independent requirements will be reduced for example if I enter the MD61 PIR as say 100 pieces for next month and 500 for the following month so on those months as long um, the more you do the goods issue the 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 more they will be reduced so same goes for different one for example for planning study 11 it will again PR will be reduced in the case of good ships and but in the case of number 20 which is the make to order production the goods issue for the sales order is the same thing uh, as the planning, planning number 10 uh, study number 10 but here most likely you can see either the goods will be uh, the PR will be reduced in the case of goods issue or goods shipped depending on the different planning strategy now the question is where does this is control so what customizing will be controlling the PIR reduction so how does the system knows that at what stage we need to reduce the PIR so let's talk about this one so this is basically reduced in the customizing of movement types the thing called movement types which is a topic in SAP MM module which is, which is a big topic but in brief in movement type what happens is everything we're doing is basically happens around the movement type for example in the following video we'll talk about the production order orders and uh, how the production orders are goods received so everything whenever there is a movement of the goods of the goods it is controlled by the thing called movement type okay again the movement type is used in sales order as well that means when a sales order is delivered to the customer then again a different movement type is used and uh, when we receive the goods issue for a production order in SAP production planning then again a different type movement type is used but more of the movement types are used in the different scenario in SAP MM module now what what I'm saying here is this customizing is controlled in the movement type so let's see the movement type customizing for a minute so if you go to SPRO the customizing and go to SAP reference IMG here if you do a control F and if we search for movement type so the first uh, movement type here we need to pick the area 
select this one movement type under the inventory management open that open that and here copy change movement type open that select the movement type here and say ok enter here a movement type for example if I enter a range for example between 100 and 200 say ok or you can enter only one if you want it will show me the list of all these 100 movement types so here for there as I said there are so many hundreds of movement types you can see here I'm just showing you the first hundred and um, here you can pick any movement type and say go to the detail when you open the detail here you can see independent requirement reduction see this one where the cursor is so let me go to the display mode click on the display so that I'm not changing anything showing me some error in this one let me find a different one So 103, open that, here go to display mode, so go to the display mode first here and then display the, sorry, go to the display mode first and then pick any movement type and go to the detail button. So here you can see independent requirement reduction, see this one, if you press F1 here, it will tell you the detail about this field, independent requirement reduction. That means if this indicator is checked here for the respective movement type, then only those uh, PR will be reduced when this movement type will be used in the scenario. Okay, so that's why you can see here. So when the goods issue or goods receipt are, hap are happening, then only the uh, goods uh, the PR is PIR is reduced. Let me go back. There's a movement type 641, which is basically used for the sales order. Not this one, I think it's a different one. Okay, so again, please do not make any changes in the movement type because this is very, very important part of SAP. Okay, so that's how the movement type is controlling the PIR reduction, planned independent requirement reduction. Now we'll talk about the deleting of the planned independent requirements. So uh, in the earlier exercises, we have seen that we can create different uh, planned independent requirements. But in real time scenario, what happens is, say this is today's date, we are here on today. And that's the future on the right hand side. So in the past, we may have created so many uh, planned independent requirements, but they were never consumed. Okay, so they, we created the MD61 record, but they never consumed. So ultimately, we need to clear the database. We need to clear them, okay, so that we can have a clean record. So to clear them, we have these transactions, MD74, MD75, MD76. But out of this, the MD74 is the main transaction to delete the past one that are not used. So in every company, in every business, so like every month or every two months, they run this report and they clean whatever is not used in the past so that we can have a clean system so md74 if you if open one more screen here go to md74 so here if you want to delete something then you can say for plan number 1200 you can also type a material number here if you want or you can enter the MRP area if you want. Key date. So from what date you want to select. So enter any date here. Whatever date you enter here. System will be deleting anything from the past of that date. So if you say put 1st of January for example. So anything 1st of January. Anything behind that date will be deleted. So here you need to enter the key date here. And uh, you, need, you can click on this one delete inactive version before the key date so if this one is checked uh, system will be deleting the the data all the previous